Welcome to our guide on selecting the perfect, upgraded alternator for your boat. This video will walk you through the essential factors to consider to ensure you pick the right alternator for your vessel. When upgrading, we need to look at four key areas, voltage, mounting style, pulley type, and grounding requirements. First, you need to verify the voltage required by your boat's electrical system. We now offer alternators in 12, 24, and even 48 volts to meet diverse power demands. Next up is determining the correct mounting style. This is crucial for a secure fit and proper alignment with your engine. Boat alternators typically come in a variety of mounting styles. First up is the single foot mount. These come in two variations, one and two inches. Next, you might encounter dual foot mounts. These usually have feet that are either 3.15 inches or four inches apart. The third critical factor is the pulley type. The alternator pulley must match the pulleys on the engine. While a traditional single V pulley is common, it won't work for high power alternators. It simply can't handle the required amount of load. For more powerful alternators, you'll need double V belts or a multi-grooved belt. Common choices include K6 or K8 pulleys, with K indicating the groove cut and the number showing the ribs. We also have J10 belts with a J profile and 10 ribs. If your engine doesn't have suitable pulleys, don't worry. It might be possible to add a conversion kit. These are available for many popular marine engines. Finally, you'll need to know if your engine requires an isolated ground alternator. Some modern engines with electronic controls require isolated ground to avoid electrical interference with sensitive systems. Another significant reason for an isolated ground alternator is corrosion control. For more information on the subject of isolated grounds and their importance, be sure to check out our blog post. Upgrading your boat's alternator is a significant step towards a more reliable and efficient electrical system on the water. By considering voltage, mounting style, pulley type, and isolated ground, you'll be well equipped to make an informed decision.